What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles Deep Shred. I'm already laughing because I'm so excited. Uh, today, we're finally playing Corsola. Uh, Galarian Corsola. I, when I saw this card doing a set review for River Clash, I was like, yo, this card, this ability seems busted, right? But it's, you know, it's definitely... It's it's definitely a, a super meme, right? <laughs> Parishong has this ability. It says, if this Pokemon is your active spot, is in your active spot, and it's knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack, flip the point of heads, the attacked Pokemon is knocked out. Yeah, that is uh, that's what we're trying to do today. That is that is the game plan to Parish Body. Also, there's an attack corner, which is pretty nice because you can like maybe deck out your opponent. Um, which we don't have boss order to really do that, unfortunately. But you know. It's okay, we don't have boss order. Maybe we'll put boss order in later. But corner does 60 during your opponent's next turn if any Pokemon can't retreat. Uh, so yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe, ah, whatever. We're playing without boss order. We already made the deck list, we're good. I theoried Mon a lot before testing the deck and we're gonna go with it. Uh, so yeah, Parish Body, trying to get those, those, those knockouts. You get three chances, right? Because if they, if a, if a attack team hits you three times, that means you got three chances to flip heads before you flip one to knock them out, which is pretty cool. And I do like that a lot. Um, we have the curse drop, put three damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon any way you like. So the, the whole point is you try to win against GXs with Parish Body. Or, or just GXs, right? Which is pretty good. So that's, that's the, basically the deck, right? <clears throat> so we have these non-attackers, though, these non-GX attackers. We have Mew. Mew's in here for Bench Barrier, first of all. You can help against Pika Pika Rom. But it also has Sap Power, put three damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon any way you like. So there's two, like, non-GX decks that are threatening. That is Spear Tomb, and that is Blasophion. So with Mew... This is great, because Psy Power says, hey, I'm going to try to damage your Spear Tombs and take a knock on that. We're also playing four Spell Tags, so you can do damage to the Spear Tombs and knock them out that way, while placing damage in, and doing Horror Energy. So we have all these, like, extra damage buffs to help against Spear Tomb, and then, like, Mew might be enough just to beat Spear Tomb. Maybe. <laughs> uh, Topic Feeny's in there to maybe beat Basafion, right? If you can, uh, Feeny, Nature Wave get the first knockout, right, and you just, like, trade back and forth with Feeny and Blasophions, you'll eventually win because they can't take multiple prize cards. You play no GXs, so that's the theory behind Feeny as well. Uh, we'll see if it works out or not. I'm kind of curious. I am really curious about this. Uh, we only have three Psychics, though, so that's a little sketchy for the uh, Feeny, but we'll see where we go. Uh, there's Jirachi for Cell Wish and help set up, and a Ditto, which could be your fourth, like, uh, Corsola, Corsola, right? So you have like a fourth, four, a five, four, uh, Kurt Kersel line because you want to get this out ASAP and just hit their Parish body, uh, right? So uh, four mysterious treasure playing psychic Pokemon is a big thing here. Uh, two ordinary rod to get back two Pokemon and two basic energies, which is good. Um, and get back you know the core solo line. It can get you back the Feenies or the Muse, whichever one you're going with in that matchup. You got four quick ball to get a, ba a basic Pokemon out. Of course, we're pretty much all basic except for the core solo, which is going to be search out treasure. And we got four of them. So, like, hopefully you just draw to them. Uh, three switch. Of course, switch out the active. There's three uh, chaotic swell. There's really no stadium card I really wanted this deck, but I feel like just disrupting stadium cards uh, might be good. We could cut this and play, like, one boss, which is, like, not a bad thing. Do we cheek in one boss that way? I mostly have this in to be Pikaram. Um, you know, we'll put one boss here. We can, like, boss a corner and hopefully get somebody stuck to win a game. That could be a thing. Uh, we were playing maximum consistency here, like for Cynthia, for Marnie. The plan with the Marnie is to, like Marnie them and force them to knock out a Corsola because I don't want them to boss around the Corsola. I want the Corsola, sorry, Corsola, Corsolo. I don't know how to say his name, uh, but the boss around it to bring up to the active spot. Uh, three research, three Rosa. This is gonna be nice because they do take a knockout. You can immediately search for a trainer. Uh, trainer card Pokemon and a basic energy. Um, the thing is, you only play three Psychic, but you can Ordinary Rod and uh, and then get it back next turn and stuff like that. Uh, three a Skateboard, four Spell Tag, four Horror Energy, and three Rainbow. Uh, three Psychic. Of course, the Horror Energy, like I said, is for Spear Tomb. Really, really good. Uh, we also have you, you know the Spell Tag, Spear Tomb. There's a lot of Spear Tomb counters in here because that's like the deck I'm most concerned about. Uh, but everything else, you just like you go okay, swing for a knockout. Fingers crossed. Okay, heads, we knock him out. So we're gonna save it. Uh, we, we did actually make a change here, so we're gonna save it. I haven't played the deck. I have no idea this is gonna work. Uh, it's pretty much like a, it's pretty much a bad deck Monday, uh, as uh, Puka would call it. But I think it does have potential, right? If you flip heads, you win, uh, right? I think that's the plan, right? You just go, okay, go go Corsola. 
I don't know. This, probably, this is probably really bad, but I'm really excited at the same time. I can't. When I saw this, I was like, yo, Gengar's back. I was so excited. I'm like, yo, Gengar's here, man, bro. We're going to go. All right. Uh, and hopefully my opponents just don't know what my cards do. Right? That's also a possibility. Okay. So we got some stuff for sure, right? We got the got the Chaotic. Okay. So, oh, baby. He's playing Firebox and Mewtwo. Oh, that's what I want to see. I mean, one thing we, we could, if we want to, like, guarantee this matchup, if you're, like, nervous about it, you could put Mimikyu in here. But even then, like, ah, man, we just want to cheese him with the Corsola, man. I think that's what we want to do here. Okay, there's a Mewtwo Mew. Okay, that's fine. Whatever, dude. Whatever, Mewtwo Mew. So he's playing the Welder Box version. Not not the Ultimate version. Not the good old Ultimate Mewtwo. It's a Giant Heart, okay? Which is good he got that now because we're definitely going to bop that with this. Another Mewtwo Mew coming out. It's probably like, what is my opponent playing here, bro? And I'm like, dude, I don't know. I don't know what I'm playing. There's a Dedini. Okay. This card's a Macargo, a Galio, and a Vileplume. It's like Ultimate Box with, like, friends? Welder Box with friends or something? Maybe just, like, like a handful of, like, um, of dudes. Is this a Cineroar? What is that, dude? Can you please discard that guy so I can read him? There he is. Alright. So, Millie dropped that. I don't think energy placement is that, like, crucial, really? Hmm. Go for here. Go here to here to Cynthia. Still a wishing for treasure. Or treasure, Cynthia. And get another dude out. Get a dude. Skateboard. Retreat. Wish upon a star. I think we go for Mew here. Just in case he does snipe somehow. We'll keep that rose in hand. We'll go for Mew. Put that down. Press done. Yeah, uh, the thing with the Mimikyu though is they can play Hood and they have to play Scrapper to counter the Scrapper, the Hood. So, like, it's a lot. Okay, sorry. Sorry, I just finished my coffee up, guys. Hope you don't mind that. Well, let's see here. Let's see what my opponent's got here. X5 Wrath. Okay, there's a Welder. Okay, so he's gonna have a knockout. Okay, ooh, on the bench. Okay. Very nice. I mean, all I need is energy to get Trevor Strike here. And there we go. Oh, boy. Let's go. <laughs> right? And then we start flipping next turn. Let's do this, guys. <laughs> Is that a five? Get this guy. Get this guy up to the active, please. Thank you so much. Oh, baby. We got him. We can Rosa. For this. This. Do we get spell tag out? Which I don't think it does anything. Does the damage and manipulation matter here? It might actually. So we'll go this onto this onto this onto wishing. We get Rosa for next turn to guarantee another attacker or another Cursola. Okay. We'll retreat into this guy. And we'll corner him for 120, making it where he can't retreat either. Oh, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> Alright. Alright, we got him. That's what he does here. Do we what happens? Okay, there's a tack all. Which can get him the Mal Alana. If he wants to go that way, okay, there's a Mewtwo and Charizard, okay. Okay, we need flip heads here. We flip heads. <laughs> we gotta play 
purposes. We will be going places if we flip heads here. If we don't, I'm a little sad, but we'll see here. Okay, fire to do that guy. That's fine. See what else he's got. What you got? What you got, son? What you got, opponent? Dude, you reading the course of law? You noticing what Parish Body does yet? Have you read it? Have you read it yet? Have you read what Parish Body does? Maybe he does take a knock. Oh, goodness. He's got a boss order, dude. Bye bye, Jirachi. It's a little bit what I was scared of. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie. I'm a little nervous about that. Okay. Knocked out my Jirachi. That's fine. Dude, course of law is still gonna go up. We're gonna swing again, dude. I think we go quick to discard Rosa. We can go ditto. Ditto into research. Go here. Um, spell tag. Horror energy. Corner again. I think it's fine. Alright, so he's up to 30 damage. So you can take a knock on that guy if he does which switch somehow. Um, he can't retreat. That's a big thing here. Let's see what he does here. I guess I could have put the energy on the active, so I guarantee you a knockout. Huh. Like if I put the horde on the active, we could like guarantee a knockout. There's a Aurora energy discarding a Charizard and Charizard, okay. I'm going to play the one boss so far. But the good news is we're taking a knockout no matter what this turn. So that's good. That's good. That's good. We're taking a knockout no matter what. Okay. Come on, baby. Give me the flips. Me the, let me see the flips. Come on. Come on now. Dude. Man, we're not going to flip it. Uh, we want to be safe here. Oh, we flipped those anyway. <laughs> All right. There's a quick ball. There's a Marty. There's a boss. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was in the Corsola. Corsola. Okay. This guy comes up, okay. Get a horror energy, very nice. We get quick ball, quick ball. That's in the deck. We'll grab a Jirachi. Put down Jirachi. Quick ball, Marnie. Uh, for nothing. And then Marnie him. To put him down to four. Let's go ahead and Ordinary Rod, do both, get those two, let's get back a Psychic, um, do we put the other Spell Tag down or we just wait? I think we just wait and we corner for 120, okay, <clears throat> gotta hope he doesn't have enough boss here, maybe boss he's not attacking. Well, I guess he could attach energy and attack. Right? So we'll see what happens. Dude, I'm kind of pumped. I'm a little excited. Okay, there we go. There's Aurora energy. Just kind of so Galio. Cherish ball for Dedini, I imagine, right? There's a but even then, like, if this happens, we're going to be able to smack this guy for a huge number, and then we can just side power to knock on me too. Or he, he just, uh, he attacks us and we flip heads and we just win. And we go, yeah, we did it. Poke gear? He's digging for a boss, man. He does not want to hurt that Corsola. 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 There's a welder. It's not a boss. Okay, that's good. There's a welder. Dude, that guy is loaded. Oh, 
Okay, 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 okay. Okay, Let's see what Curse Solo got for us, bro. Are you gonna swing or not swing? That is the question. You take 20, 40, 70. See what he's got. What you got? What you, what you, what you got? Is he gonna swing or not swing? Dude, if he doesn't swing, we just corner and then we just like have a better chance of like just side power for knockout. Just saying. What's he gonna do? He's taking a second, dude. And he's like, man, I don't wanna tag into this guy because if you flip heads, he wins, right? Like, do you just wait? But if you wait, then I just curse drop it. Okay, here we go. Come on. I need a new car here. Sure. Dude, we're following the active. I don't care. And we did it. There we go. Corsola taking the game, bro. Woo-hoo. <laughs> ah, yeah, we did it. We mean him. We got on him, so we mean him. We did it. Yes. All right, dude. He was like, he was, oh, that was so beautiful, man. Dude, oh, man, dude. Oh, goodness. I'm so pumped for Rogue Tuesday, man. That's, that, you just love when you see stuff like that, right? That's just, that's just amazing, guys. Ha. <laughs> MVP Corsola. Woo! Woo! All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the edition of Road Tuesday. Hit that subscribe button. That is, oh my goodness. That's amazing, dude. That is so amazing. We did it. Uh, <laughs> we did more damage to him, bro. That's so cool. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Have a great Tuesday. And we'll see you tomorrow for Wednesday. Alrighty. Bye.